Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. And um, uh, today we're going to be looking at a concept builder from physicsclassroom.com titled Keeping Track of Momentum, Hit and Stick Collisions. So the main idea behind this uh, concept builder is the idea of conservation momentum, that the total momentum before a collision must equal the total momentum after the collision. Okay, we don't ever lose momentum, it gets transferred from one object to another. So in this problem, in this uh, case, uh, for your um, apprentice level, you actually won't determine the momentum of any of them, you will uh, just see the momentum in the problem sort of one of them you'll have to kind of determine we'll get to that but for the master and apprentice level you'll just use p equals mv four times and calculate it for the red and the blue car before the collision and the red car and the blue car after the collision then you'll find the momentum of the system before the collision by using the sum of the two momentums so you just add them together because the system is like the whole thing in this case two cars and so the total momentum is the two added together. Since momentum is conserved, this, the system's momentum before the collision is equal to that after the collision. So you can then just list whatever you put for the system, the momentum of the system before the collision, just put that same number for the uh, momentum of the system after the collision. Then uh, in the apprentice level, you'll use ratios to determine the final momentums. In the master's level, we already talked about, you'll use P equals MV back in step one. Then you'll find the momentum change by subtracting. So momentum change, any change is a final value minus the initial value. So be careful because sometimes this comes out negative. Let's get to our two sample problems. The first sample problem comes from the apprentice level. So we'll start by just reading here. A red cart is moving rightward. Remember, rightward means positive in physics classroom uh, with a momentum of 40 kilogram centimeters per second. Uh, so notice it says to enter the values in kilogram centimeters per second. So we're just going to take that and enter the value of 40 here. And that's all we have to do there is just read it and put it into our grid. Uh, then we see that it collides with the blue car that is initially at rest. Okay, so the blue car is at rest. So we can do a quick calculation here. You probably don't even need to write this down, but the mass of the blue car is unknown, uh, but the velocity is zero. Okay, so whatever that mass is, it's going to lead to a momentum of zero. So we can put zero in here. Then next we add up these two. So we have 40 from the red car plus zero from the blue car. That means our total is going to be 40. Okay, then going over to the final momentum after the collision, the total momentum after the collision of the system. Remember, these are equal. That's conservation momentum. So since uh, uh, the momentum before the collision was 40, the momentum after the collision has to be 40 for the whole system. All right, then um, we need to use some ratios to figure out this part here. Okay, so uh, we remember, of course, that P, which is the momentum that we're looking for, is equal to M times V. Okay, uh, so that means we could take the mass of the blue times the velocity of the blue to get the blue momentum. And we can take the mass of the red times the velocity of the red to get the final momentum. Now we don't actually have numbers here, so we have to look at some relationships. So the first thing we see is that the blue cart has three times the mass of the red cart. So we could, instead of writing the mass of the blue cart, we could write, let me use this, three times the mass of the red cart times the velocity of the blue to get the momentum of the blue, and it's still the mass of the red times the velocity of the red. Okay, then next we see that the two carts stick together, and that's why it's called hit and stick, and move to the right with the same speed. Well, they're stuck together, so of course they're going to move with the same speed, but that means that, I'll write that up here, VB 
equals VR. So it doesn't matter whether we write VB or VR. So for the momentum of our blue one, let's just change this to R since they're the same thing. So we can see everything is now the same except for the blue one, the blue momentum. Remember this side was calculating the blue momentum is going to be three times bigger. So whatever goes in here has to be three times bigger than what goes here. For most students, what I recommend is uh, that you just try and think of two numbers that add up to 40, because remember our red momentum plus our blue momentum gives us the momentum of the system, but we already know the momentum of the system is 40 because it was conserved. It had to stay the same. So this has to be three times bigger than this, and we need two numbers that add up to 40. So the blue one has to be three times bigger, and they have to add up to 40. And so pretty quickly, most people can say, okay, well, two, two things that add up to 40, 20 and 20, okay, that's not uh, three times bigger. How about 10 and 30? Oh, yeah, 30 is three times bigger. And remember, our blue one, this was all about the blue one over here, was three times bigger. And the red one would be the 10. Okay, so the blue one is three times bigger than the red one. And so we get our 10 and our 30. Okay, then we come over to do the momentum change. Remember, momentum is always final value minus the initial value. So we can see we'll get negative 30 here for the red car. It lost 30 units of momentum. And here we have 30 as our final minus zero as our initial. And that's going to give us positive 30. It's going to increase its momentum by 30 or change it by 30 in the positive direction. Then we can get the one at the bottom here one of two ways. We can take the uh, final system momentum and subtract the initial system momentum to get zero. Or, <clears throat> that's a zero, it just ran off the screen. <coughs> or we can take our two momentums and add them together. Negative 30 plus 30 also equals zero. Okay, so either way about it, we can see that this one in the bottom corner is going to be zero. And that should always be zero because we know that the system, uh, the momentum of the system does not change. It stays constant. It is conserved. All right, on to our second problem. This is from the wizard level. The big difference between the wizard level and the master level is that the master level has one of the carts start at zero. So uh, that should be easier. You just make its velocity zero. So let's go through here and get our values that we have in the problem and place them into the appropriate place where we're going to be using them. So first we see a mass of, of 1.5 kilograms for the red cart. Okay, so in both of these squares that relate to the red one, we're going to put mass equals 1.5 kilograms. And this one applies to the red one as well. Once again, we'll be calculating the uh, momentum here. Remember, momentum is uh, mass times velocity. P stands for momentum. Then uh, we keep reading, and we see uh, it's moving rightward with that speed. So I may, so we'll make the velocities positive, and the speed for the red one is 60. So 60 begins by moving with plus 60 or positive 60 centimeters per second. Okay, we keep reading. When it collides with a 0.5 kilogram blue cart, so in the blue cart section, we'll write that the mass of the blue cart is 0.5 kilograms. It's 0.5 kilograms before the collision, and it's still 0.5 kilograms after the collision uh, and it's moving leftward remember leftward is our negative direction with a speed of 40 meters per second okay so it's starting out before the collision it's moving leftward which means negative with a speed of 40 centimeters per second then as we keep reading after the collision after the collision the two carts stick together. Once again, that's why it's called hit and stick. 
and move to the right, so that's going to be the positive direction, with a speed of 35 centimeters per second. Okay, so we have 35 centimeters per second. And that is them stuck together. They both have the same speed after the collision. All right, so now we just have to use our equation here, use our mass and velocity for each of these boxes, and we'll be able to get our top four boxes. Starting with the red cart before the collision, okay, right here, 60 times 0.5 gives us 90. Moving down here, we see 0.5 times negative 40 gives us negative 20. Moving up to the red car after the collision, we have 1.5 times uh, 35, which gives us 52.5. And keep in mind, it gives us 52.5 kilogram centimeters per second, but we're told that all values are in kilogram meters per second, kilogram centimeters per second. And so then our last uh, momentum calculation, we see a mass of 0.5 and a velocity of 35. And so the blue car will end with 17.5 kilogram centimeters per second. Then um, the system's momentum, uh, to get the system momentum, we have to add together our momentums of the two carts. So we have 90 plus negative 20. That's going to give us a momentum of 70. So the total momentum of the system before the collision is 70 kilogram centimeters per second. After the collision, we add together our afterwards ones, and we know it should end up as 70. So 52.5. 52.5 plus 17.5 equals 70. Yay, momentum was conserved. Our math was done correctly. Okay, then we got to get our changes. So we do final 52.5 minus 90 gives us 37. 0.5, ah, negative 37.5, so negative 37.5. The red car lost 37.5 units of momentum, or its momentum changed in the negative direction by 37.5 uh, kilogram centimeters per second. And our blue car, uh, final velocity of 17.5 minus negative 20 minusing a negative is like adding and so we get uh, the positive 37.5 okay and so that's 37.5 okay and then once again we can either do the final momentum change uh, final momentum of the system minus the initial momentum of the system to get zero or we can do uh, 37, uh, negative 37.5 plus 37.5, and that also equals zero. So our answer here is zero. So conservation momentum is the key idea behind this concept builder. And that's how to put it all together. Thanks for joining us here on Scientific Adventures of Beardman, and we'll see you next time.